Like I've already said, I'm always prepared, you know, um, right now, just relaxing and knowing that I'm going to go in that ring and I'm going to go to the display and I'm going to take the title home through the almighty Jesus Christ. I have full confidence that I'm bringing it home. There will definitely be a knockout, but I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not the type to predict to say, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, but for surely I'm going to win the fight. And I'm going to make sure that, you know, this guy, I'm going to stop him in the later rounds. This, this fight is nothing. It's, it's just like, um, you know, like a, a walkover fight. Trust me. Everybody says Krampa is strong, but he's not fought no one. Who has he fought? He's not fought anybody of Isaac's caliber. So you yet to see fireworks in there. Krampa is just one dimensional fighter. Just keep coming forward. Isaac goes forward. Isaac is somebody that can fight forward, can fight on the back foot, can fight going side to side. Grandpa is just, he's not got no skill. He's just a raw person, baby Magbebu. He can't hoo hoo ha ha, kind of boxer. That's nothing. I mean, Isaac is, Isaac is one of a kind, you know. He's, he, Isaac is a classic boxer. See, it's not because he's my son or I train him, but the kid is very experienced and he's, he's classic, you know. So you're going to see that in the, in, the, in, the, in the ring. Like I keep telling people, skill supersedes power. You can have all the power in, 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 in this world. You know, the kid has skill, you know, and he has the boxing brain. That's what we call sweet science, you know. And this fight for me is dubbed the beauty and the beast. You know, that's how I call it. So this is it right here.
thanks to twice promotions and Herald Walk, not forgetting Ghana Boxing Authority and WBO. Now I have the verdicts on the scorecard by TKO in round number eight. So ladies and gentlemen, the new WBO African following champion is no other person than the boxer. So now, the current moment, the current moment, the Honorable Minister will support the Summit of Time to call the winner of the So let's have the Minister get it closer. You know, first of all, I'd like to thank the Almighty Jesus Christ for this victory and my church people, the ARS Church in New Tajabu. As you can see, we're still in festive mood. We just came from Gota region, New Tajabu, you know, so I'd love to thank, give thanks to God Almighty first and I thank each and every single person that came down here today okay. and all the congregation and the sports enthusiasts that came down. Thank you all. But now tell me, you knocked him around one, he went down, I think, was it around five or so. How did you feel at that time? You know, um, everyone talks about George Crumper um, being a very tough, tough, tough customer and a very experienced boxer. You know, um, I give him all the credit. Um, but first of all, I came out, I came to prove something that I might be small, but you know, I'm still deadly, you know. And um, I wanna, I came, I came down, I came down. The first thing, the first thing I wanted to do was to shock him, to let him know that, because everyone is probably thinking that he's gonna come and dance around him, run, 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 run. Okay. You know, that's what a lot of people are saying. So I came down to give him a shock, okay. you know, for him to test, taste my power, you know. Okay. And I wanna thank um, Honorable, Mr. Samir Captain for giving me this opportunity from the first time you saw me fight in um, Wembley Park, you know. Um, thank you to all the, the BBO officials and the BBA okay. and um, all the ministers in presence and the wow. champ, the Hall of Famer, okay. Azuma Nelson, you know, and Mr. Kofi Jamishi, Honorable Mr. and the Sports Minister. Thank you all. Okay, now finally, finally, before you go, where from here? Where from here? What, what, what are you looking forward to? When should we see you going get the world title you know um right now i can only propose but it's it's up to the almighty god jesus christ to to to, to open the door um lastly before i move on to your question i want to thank um streetwise streetwise um promotions mr amu Bediakon, for this wonderful show and having me on your show you know um aborigines resort keta um uncle mitch you know, big shout out to you. Yeah, so back to your question. Yeah, um, you know, right now it's Christmas. Christmas is not yet over, so I'm now starting making the way and everything. So I've, I've had to um, cut back on the biscuits and cookies. So okay, I'm going to go back and, you know, 2016 is a big year. Okay, thank you. No, if you're not going to let me know, you're not going to be a little bit of 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 a little Bona, a use in the sheet in Gugono. It's a head below. Nay, no, 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 no,
Nous disons que nous avons fait. On t'a refait. Oui. Et nous avons fait quel accord on t'a refait. Nous avons refait. Euh, quel est le challenge Euh, deux gars. C'est un peu de nous encore. Je me faisais mes frères au bac. Refait. Nous avons fait un peu de temps. Ce que je dis, c'est que je suis un peu de temps. Je suis un peu de temps. Ok. Non, tu as dit que ton frère, il a dit qu'il veut un refait. You know, I heard it very well, but you know what? He's not a warrior. Warriors, um, when they lose, they take defeat and admire and then take something out of it to try and do something better and something different. Yeah, he's not a warrior. But you know, you know, you know something, yeah? I came, he, he said, he claims I'm proud to be his hometown, yeah? I came down here to find him here. So the next fight, let's take it to my hometown in the Bota region. Okay, thank you very much. Me, Mr. three. And so to George Crampa for stepping up. Um, um, you know he, he was he was he was really tough. He's a very tough, 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 tough opponent. And um, you know he came out to fight. That's exactly what the crowd wanted. I mean, um, I think right now this is one of the best fights Ghana has ever had so far. You know, so there's nothing more I can say. But you know, I want to emphasize on the fact that I want to thank um, Honorable Kofi Jamishi, the minister, and um, for coming down. He's always been my back. You know, always supported me. Uncle Mitch of the Aborigines Beach Resort, Keta. You know, they've always also he's always supporting me. You know, so I want to thank them very much for 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 all this and um, to thank all my church members and everyone, my family back home praying for me. I mean, the whole of Ghana, Merry Christmas. Happy <laughs> Shapa. Okay, now we have a world champion. He's not yet. He's not yet. He's not yet a world champion, but we'll describe him as a world champion. Yeah. Because we know definitely he's going to get there. World, world champion in the making. Yeah. So uh, what are you going to do to uh, treat him for him to become a world champion? Well, like, like he said, he's learning day by day. So this fight is like a learning process. We just wanted to shock like the Ghana people and tell them that Isaac is very powerful. But then they said to us, Krampa was strong, and Isaac is not is not ready yet to fight Krampa. But we took this fight on that merit to shock Ghana and the people of the world that Isaac is ready for a world title next year. Next year, ending up next year, we believe that when we when we 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 go back and then go back to the drawing board, we can let something happen. Well, you see, anybody that comes forward to fight Isaac always goes down in his career. You have to run. If you want to survive all the rounds, that's the secret. You have to be going back and be punching and boxing and going back. But if you come forward to fight, this kid will knock you out, flat out. So was, Why, I give my, <laughs> my secret. <laughs> so this is it. I mean, there's always adjustment. So even if he's running, we'll still cut the corner and that's knock him out. So this is it. Yeah, different instructions, yes, because this kid, we've never seen him fight, we don't know who he is, we just heard that he's strong, that he keeps coming forward, and truly, he's a warrior, he just keeps coming forward, so if you, like I said, if you come forward, Isaac will knock you out, you see, I dab this fight as the beauty and the beast, because this is a very handsome guy, I'm handsome, that's my son, you know, and that's the beast, and we tame the beast, that's it. The, the one that we just saw, oh, fantastic fight, fantastic fight. I think Dog Bay will go on to do good things in the game. I think Krampa is too brave for his own good. You know, he took some punishment in there, and uh, but he done well, he done well, but it's a great fight. Okay, so, uh, uh, I think this is your second or third uh, organization. Third, yeah. Third one. Yeah. Uh, in, the, in the future, what do you really expect? Because even this is game, uh, the level is here. So next time, what should we expect from you? Well, it depends how much boxers we get involved in the fights, you know? We want to get a level and keep moving up level, so we have to keep you know, invested in young boxers so that we can get them winning these WBO IBF Africa titles and so forth and so forth, then we can get them on the world stage. Do you know what I mean? And move forward. So looking at Isaac, where do you think he will be in the next two years? Next two years? Again, you know, boxing is a funny game. You have to pave your way very carefully. You know, he has all the tools to be a world champion, as you can see. But you have to pick and choose your fights and, and make sure your team is correct. Do you understand? Not take fights when you're not supposed to take fights. Do you know what I mean? And be patient and the opportunities will come. But you can see he's a great talent. 
the WBO will now rank him 15 in the world. Do you know what I mean? He'll be good to defend his title, maybe go and try and win the Commonwealth before he moves up to that world level. Well, I mean, he, he, he has a, he, he has a, he's a, he's a, uh, he's a, a word material. You know, so, uh, 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 do, do, yeah. do I see him in me? Yes. No, 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 yeah, he, yeah, sure. You know, he's, he's doing, he's doing the best. I think uh, 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 there's nothing that I can say bad about him because he's doing the best he should, he should do, and he did what he's supposed to do. So if you were his trainer, what is the advice for Dubu? No, boxing or sports, it's, it's all about hard training. You know, so if you, if he will keep hard training, he will go far. But then I, I also want to push you a little, a little bit to the wall. What are the wrongs or mistakes that you saw that needs to be corrected? Oh, uh, he need to, he need to, he need to hold his guard well because uh, there's some punches that he's been taking. You know, he shouldn't, he shouldn't taking that punches. You know, so uh, that's the, some of the mistakes. Feeling, you know, it's a, a feeling of joy, a feeling of entertainment, a feeling of pride, a feeling that perhaps Ghana is back on track to our glory days in boxing. And uh, gladly, Azuma Nelson, the professor, is seated here, and I'm sure he would have had a lot of, you know, reminiscence. Uh, nostalgia about his his heydays because uh, the, the last fight between Ike, Isaac and uh, Krampa really gives one uh, a, a, the feeling of hope, the feeling that soon or, or sooner or later uh, Ghana can produce another champion. Above all, I'm sure uh, spectators who have come here tonight to watch the the, the, the match uh, or the bout are really happy that they've got their money's worth because it was a great fight. Uh, yeah, a great fight. I saw a fight uh, which reminded me of the days of Azuma Nelson and others. Um, I was just telling the Honorable Minister that in a long time, we haven't seen a fight like this. I'm talking of a fight between Isaac Dukwe and Krampa. Very exciting fights, very durable boxes, and uh, I think it's, it's made my day, I mean, for a fight like that. It's, it's an unforgettable experience. He's, he's a young prospect, you know, as an amateur in the UK and all that. Very promising, and at least, uh, I mean, the stuff he's made of and what he exhibited tonight means that when he's properly guided and uh, put into the right hands, he should go places. Uh, he's a potential world champion, that one I can say. I love this. That's, that's some, I see some of the top-ranked fighters that I could even imagine is taking place. I'm very impressed with this. And please continue doing so. I think it'll be, it'll be excellent for the people. They love seeing that these type of events take place. And I appreciate you taking the time for this. Now I only say grandpa was a grandpa. And you are the to me. No, it's a grandpa. Where grandpa? I was a grandpa, but not grandpa. What does it? Ah, where are father and son? As a matter of fact, father and son. Baba, father Alexander. Father Alexander. Senya na dobi ni kampa atuto tuna na uso sebiya ni ebe mudo bana. Oh, dobi, dobi, dobi. Sa dobi nu oya mi boy. Ena mi nimo. Mi ana mi design atari ya numa ano. Yes. Wo mi ana mi nimo boy ro. Ento ose na konsong kong down first round uto. Barafu no. Eh, 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 support kaka. Because the genie bakuna kotoa funa fide na senya. Oh, reference you on Jinaomi Kakra. Yeah, it's not. I'll pass you through first round. I can't do a call down. But when you have How many are you? As I'm sure I said, many are you. Guy coming from London uh, has got, has got uh, exposure, uh, facilities that he has, he has been exposed to helped him a lot. And the discipline over there also helped him. But the local guy here, he, he was just a uh, pure local. Raw talent. Raw talent. If he also gets the exposure, he will do better. Or will do, will do uh, come out with exploits. So that's what I think. And I think that uh, boxing 
boxing life is almost dead now. With bouts like this, I think the box, boxing fraternity uh, uh, would now rise up to boost up the game in the near future. So I think that with this bout, Ghana can now think of uh, uh, um, uh, uh, no, a world champion.